aqui. Ei, acolhe a Renegue. Do mini Macau. Do mini Macau. Now at this video is going to be a special kind of video. Yes. We are going to be cooking for you guys, teaching you how to cook a burebu. <laughs> and that a burebu, you can see we are with our knife. Yes. 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 And specifically for a bonnie state, and specifically for Africa South, which is also known as Eda Eda people. So if you are an Eda person watching this video, hmm, this video should better go viral. Are you hearing me? Let it go viral. Yes, Let people come and see that a bonnie yes. people have their own soup. Yes, yes, a bonnie mm. have their soup. Yes, <laughs> Enjoy this video. Just relax and watch. You're going to see the look of the soup. So, enjoy this video. <laughs> Welcome to Helene's Corner. Pumpkin leaf, also called ugu, is the principal ingredient we use in preparing this eburebu soup. So, follow us. Let's go get our pumpkin leaf in the market. In case you don't know, this is Abakaliki International Market. Okay, I have a full video of different sections of the market in my channel. You can go and watch if you really want to see how the market and what the market looks like. Okay, meanwhile, because the vegetable market has moved to opposite Abakaliki International Market, we are going there to buy our leaves. <music> Since the following day was sit at home, we needed to buy this leaf a day before and keep it so we can use it the next day because we will not be able to go to the market and because I've been waiting for her to be able to prepare this vlog. She's not somebody that always have time. <music> guys if you're new to this our wonderful channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell beside it so you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video okay we are here at the vegetable market because the next day was sit at home vegetable was indeed very scarce this will be so precious mama hey everybody. mama how much are you selling this oh for 400 for 400 naira but this is expensive now eh uh, now now who go know there for this market today hey, yes, you want that so this is the specialty yeah. of vegetable i've been telling you not every vegetable the first one we saw it will soon be good but this one will be very good it's in your now boots i don't want any place that will be stuffy for the vegetable so let me keep it very, very well so that air will be blowing it so that it will be very beautiful. And Helene, if you test this sour emule, in fact, you like to eat it and eat it and eat it and eat it again. I can't wait to eat the emule. <laughs> my mud plate. Are we going to go up and share it? Like, no, I don't have pepper. You don't put five in everything. Everything is Triple very of the price. Like, huh? There is not a, something you buy 200 before it's now 400. It's not even 400, it's 600. <laughs> pay, I'm telling you. It's not, I'm telling my you, it's God. more than double. Can you my imagine? My God, my God. If you want to cook a brebu before, if yeah. you use 200 naira vegetable, you can cook and call your neighbor. But now you can imagine we bought a vegetable of 1,000 naira. That won't even be enough for two people. Oh, you can me. imagine. our fire and then our pot is on the fire now there's water in it
a very unique and special food to every of our visitors and we are from Edas. And you have not eaten food if you have not eaten a bowl of soup. A bowl of soup is very, very delicious. When you are eating it, especially with that bowl, you will even know that your stomach is already filled. You will eat and over eat your side. If you look down, we can see some of our ingredients we are using to prepare the soup. But first and foremost, this is the one we call mud plate. We use it to eat a brebu soup. If you are using plate to eat a brebu soup, you are not eating a brebu because this one has a special aroma and taste when you are using it to eat a brebu. And now you can see our ingredients here. Here is what we call mangala. Mangala fish is a very, very, very vital in preparing a brebu soup. If you cook a brebu without mangala, you're wasting your time. That doesn't mean it is not edible. But if you want to get actual brebu soup, you use a very unique mangala fish. You can see our stock fish here. This stock fish will give it one unique aroma when you combine it with mangala. And you can see our kanda here. You cannot prepare brebu soup in either land without pomo. If you're preparing it without pomo, you're wasting because we used to cut it small, small, small. And when you're packing the vegetable, you're packing it with this. As you're eating it and chewing it, ah, oh, wow, you will look as if you're the other side. And now you can look at our yellow pepper. Our yellow pepper used to give um, a brebu soup one kind of aroma. Aroma. And if you use ordinary pepper, that doesn't mean it won't be edible. It is edible, but you, that, this one will give you what you cannot get from every other soup you used to eat. This is roasted chicken. Not only that, you must use roasted chicken. If you have a, a goat meat, okay, you can use it. You can use a, a cow meat. But here, this one, we are preparing it with a roasted chicken because roasted chicken used to give us one kind of aroma in preparing a burebu soup because it's a native soup. And you can feel our red oil here. We don't use every red oil. We don't use a vakaliki red oil. We call it oil. We only use this special oil from Eda. Or alternatively, we can use Enugu red oil to prepare a burebu soup. And in preparing a burebu soup, we don't need water. The only water you use is the small water from the when you were steaming it. We use a little, more or less, we use oil to prepare a burebu soup. At the end of it, we bring us something unique. Oh. And now this is our, you can see it, it is a, a species of Ogo, Ogo from other land. You can't get it here in Abakaliki side. You get it from Afikbo, down Eda. So that's where you can get it. Alternatively, we can get this, this type of vegetable from Cross River State, Ongwa land. That's the particular place you can use your vegetable to prepare a burebu soup. And it will give you what you want to get. But if you use another one, Abakaliki uh, vegetable, it may not give it, it will be very strong and you won't get the actual taste of a burebu. That's why I recommend if you're preparing a burebu soup, you go to Cross River vegetable, add a vegetable, long a vegetable, that will give you the best test you ever want. But if I don't have a uh, add that own, I can still use the abakaliki own you, or it, any other yes, pumpkin case, leaf mm, I see. The reason why I was bringing it in other land is because the native soup is from other land and there is nothing you can compare the one that's coming from other. In case you're in abroad, you're in Canada, you're in London, you're in UK, you're Australia or Germany, you can use any pumpkin to prepare a burebu soup and still get it there. In case of those other people over there, you feel like enjoy, you can enjoy it. You know now. You know how to you used to test when you come over there. We love you. See our onion. In preparing a burebu soup, you know big onion used to have one particular aroma, unlike this small, small onions. So when you're preparing a burebu, in case you have your opportunity to see the big one, please use the big one. But if you can't see it, you can use any onion. You can still get a burebu soup. And here is our maggi. None, none precisely is used in a burebu so that you will get one kind. Uh, you won't get this sugaring taste. Uh, okay. But that doesn't mean if you have star, you can't cook. This one is what we call potato. We call it in other land. Account. You use it to soften the leaf when you are steaming it. You can see our salt, and you know, uh, Ebony State is sort of the nation. This salt is from Uburu. We rinsed it first with warm water because these days. People use sniper to preserve all these dry fish, ice fish. So that's why we first arrange it with very hot water. Before this is our So we are finished washing it now. Put this one in the way there, no Salt. This one is stock cube.
Remember, the water should be little. The reason why it reached like this is because it's stock fish and dry fish. And before they are going to be ready, they are going to collect all the water. If not, the water is not supposed to be up to this quantity. We're going to cover it. You can see we are cutting our kanda. You don't go to the end to remove it. So, we are going to be putting the pepper inside the, the meat stock. So that the meat stock will be tasty because it's how tasty the meat stock is that it means how tasty the soup in itself will be most times so this is the quantity of water you add very little and then you cover it allow it to boil <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she came to eat a brebu. Immediately she heard is a brebu. <laughs> she said she must come. <laughs> oh, you can see we are pouring water in a bigger. It's a, it's a large basin so that the sound will just go out from the leaf. So before you start watching, you add your salt. Okay, this is my salt. I'm adding it inside the water so that every sound in this vegetable will sink. I will sink. Okay, so I'm pouring my vegetable. Okay, when you're watching, there's a method of watching. You don't watch by squeezing it. <coughs> So we are about to put the potash, the potash, this is the potash, Banyetu Yambirebra. Okay. So we have put the potash inside. Mm -hmm. And allow the, we allow the butter to boil. Okay. We are covering it for it to boil. So we are washing the vegetable the second round. Yes, watching it the second round.
For people in London, in Canada, please subscribe this channel. It's going in part. If you come back to Nigeria, please come back to Abakali Kids. Hey, Koko will connect it to me, and I'm going to give you one Eburebu play. They allow it for some minutes to simmer. After simmer, we turn it so those parts that down will come up, but the upper part will go down. When it is soft, we will not bring it out. Okay, yes, you can. So you close some minutes again and bring it down. Just pieces is very tiny, not as if you're preparing your jollof rice. Or oh. I'll try, I'll try, go. So the water she's adding to the berry soup is the main stock with little of the water we used to parboil the ugo. Little of it because she said the eburebu is supposed to be very very thick. You are not supposed to see water. Oh, the soup is ready and is served 
in a ninja. This plate is called ninja. Okay, so guys, this is our final ebrebu. In our next video, you're going to watch us eat ebrebu. That is where the mukbang is. Okay, because this video is too long. So guys, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Love you guys. Bye bye. Thank you for watching, Helen's Kana.